everyone and welcome to another tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to download an object from an Amazon S3 bucket using wget. So first of all you need a bucket and you need a file inside your bucket, right? So I have a file here called text file which says this is a text file that will be downloaded. Simple, right? So let's upload it to um, to the bucket. So I imagine that you already have a created bucket. Uh, if you don't, you, you will need to create it, of course. And after that, uh, you can just enter that bucket and you can try to, to upload the file. Let's upload um, our file, uh, our text file. It's here, open. And then um, an important thing, uh, so you, for you to download the file using wget, I'm making things simple and just make the object public. So you can go to permissions, um, grant public access, and you understand the risk of having public objects and you upload it. And after that, e, it succeeds. Okay, awesome. Now you can open up the file and we will see the information meta metadata related with this file. And we can like have the owner, the, the AWS region, the S3 URI, and after that you have the, also the object URL. That's what we want, right? If you open this URL in your browser, it will understand, okay, this is a text file, so it will download it. So you can do it as well in your terminal using wget. So we are on our desktop. I will delete our text file. Okay, the text file is not here anymore. So now I can just double get and the text file that we want. Okay, download. Text file is here again. And it has w w what we saved there. So this is pretty simple. Um, be aware that it's important to have the public object. Uh, if it's not public, public, you might need uh, some additional, additional configurations, but um, this is the, the basic way of doing this. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you learned how to download an S3 from an S3 bucket, uh, an object inside of it uh, using wget or just using the URL, whatever you, you would like to use. I hope you enjoyed.